Types of Forces A pull, or push acting on an object is called force. We can move objects, or change their shape by applying force. Force is applied by these children, to kick the ball. Force is applied by these men, to move things. Force may cause an object, to stop, or start moving, to change its position or direction of motion, to increase or decrease its speed, to change the shape of the object. The type of forces are gravity, and friction. Gravity What happens when we throw a ball up into the air? It first rises up, then seems to stop, and then falls to the ground. Do you know? Why does it fall down? Why doesn't it keep going upward? This is because of the force of gravity. The force that pulls objects downwards towards the center of the earth is called gravity. When you throw a ball up, you throw it with a lot of force, that is more than the force of gravity. So it rises. As the ball moves up, it loses this force, and then gravity pulls it down. Similarly, leaves and ripe fruits always fall down to the ground, due to the force of gravity. Friction When a ruler is pushed across a table, it stops after moving a certain distance. It stops because of friction. The force that is present, when two things are in contact with each other is called friction. Friction is the force, that makes it difficult for one object, to slide along the surface of another object. Friction, resists the motion of the object, on the surface. As a result, the object either slows down, or stops moving. If there is no friction, anything that starts moving will never stop. If there is too much friction, nothing will move. In general, materials with a smooth surface, like ice, or glass, cause less friction, than materials with rough surface, like carpets. Question time. Every week, you will be notified by a new video. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.